Good morning. Uh, my name is Jim Cardillo, and I know most of you, but some of you may not know who I am. I'm the director of Praise International, a uh, ministry that uh, Riverside has been involved with for many, many years. Uh, for those of you not familiar with Praise, is a nonprofit organization in which we provide financial assistance through scholarships to pastors in third world countries. We're privileged this morning to have with us uh, Joseph Ulai. And Joseph is our regional direct director for Praise, and he lives in Cote d'Ivoire, formerly the Ivory Coast. So, Joseph, it's a privilege to have you with us here this morning. And uh, just want to take a couple of minutes, if you would, and tell the folks about uh, your family, a little bit about Cote d'Ivoire, and uh, just share a little bit with us. Thank you. Good morning, brothers and sisters. You have a greeting of uh, brothers and sisters from Cote d'Ivoire and from West Africa. My name is uh, Ulai Joseph. I'm a student pastor uh, doing uh, a master in theology. And I have a, a family. My wife is called Christine, a very sweet and lovely wife. And uh, I have two, uh, two kids. One daughter, one daughter that is uh, Lydia, uh, five and a half old years, and Samuel that is eight months. Cote d'Ivoire is a very good country, very interesting, and uh, we are in the west of Africa, surround, uh, bordered by Liberia in the west. In the north, we have uh, um, Mali and Burkina, and in the east, we have Ghana, and the uh, sea is at the south. Uh, the temperature is very good. Eight, um, 80 to 90 degrees Celsius. It's very interesting. I invite you to visit it one day. <laughs> and uh, the resource of fa finance resource is coffee and cocoa. It's where we, we produce cocoa and coffee, but we don't use it. We just produce <laughs> because it's too hot there. We cannot uh, drink co uh, coffee, so we, we send it to you. <laughs> okay. So, um, Jason Lang was good enough to uh, allow us to borrow his Parker. He's out of the country. So Joseph has been wrapped up in his Parker and a blanket since he's been here. So uh, <clears throat> that 80 to 90 sounds real good. Joseph, uh, you provide oversight for Praise International in West Africa. Tell us a little bit about uh, the pastors there. Uh, how many? Where are they located, and what is your involvement with them? I oversee uh, 57 pastors. We have 41 in Cote d'Ivoire, uh, two in uh, Guinea, and uh, 12 in Mali. And uh, these pastors, are, most of them are in the villages, some are in the town. And uh, I'm like uh, their friend, I visit them, I pray for them, and I need some time to walk um, 45 kilometers in the bush to go and see them. And uh, they are doing a good work, a great work that needs to be encouraged. Yeah. Joseph, I think it might be helpful for the folks here if you could let them know what is the life like of one or two of the pastors? What are some of the things that they have to deal with uh, on a daily basis, and how effective are they in their ministries in their communities? Okay. Uh, I want to mention two pastors. By the grace of God, we you can see them in the film. Uh, David and Pastor Patrick, they are working in a church. I can say the church is not covered. It's not a beautiful church like uh, we, are doing, uh, we are inside today. Uh, the church is covered by grass. And when the rain is falling, you, you see Christian holding the Bible like this until the, the wait until the, the rain finish and they continue the service. It's not easy. And uh, these pastors are living in a village that is very hostile to the gospel. But by the grace of God, they have more than 40 uh, members and the community is always growing. The daily situation is not easy because the church is not able to 
provide a salary to them. Sometimes even difficult to have $12, uh, $12 per month. Difficult. And uh, they have only one food per day. But instead of that, they're still working hard. And God is doing miracle among them. Last time I heard about uh, uh, resurrection. It means that somebody is uh, almost dead and they pray for this lady and she was resurrected. So God is doing great thing among them. Thank you. Very good. Joseph, how can we best be uh, praying for you personally and the needs of the pastors that you are involved with? Okay. First of all, I want to, uh, I want to invite you to pray for these pastors so that they can have a support, uh, sponsors, they can have uh, what it takes to do the work because the need of the, the work is great, but the pastors need support. Really, they need support to do a good work. As far as I'm concerned, I want to be uh, always close to them, visit them in their villages, and uh, I will need uh, a transport main, uh, that's uh, a car, by the grace of God, to be linking them always, to be close to them and to help them, by the grace of God. What uh, one thing would you like to communicate to uh, the body this morning, Joseph, before we leave? Uh, before I leave, I want to tell you one thing. Uh, in the Middle Age, the north of, uh, the north of, the Afri of Africa was Christian. Uh, at the time of Augustine, of Tertullian, uh, the north was African. But today, with uh, the arrival of Islam, all the north have become Islam. Um, Islam is coming down to West Africa. I, I made some investigation, and I found that Senegal, uh, Senegal is just above Côte d'Ivoire, is just above Côte d'Ivoire, and is 97% of mis, uh, Muslim. Mali is 93% of Muslim. And Côte d'Ivoire was considered as a Christian country, but today, Muslim is at 66%. 66%. And Christians are 40%. If nothing is be done in 20 years, Christianity can disappear. So we rely on you, on your prayer, on your support, that the work, the missionary work, can go forward. Thank you. Great. Thank you, Joseph. Joseph has prepared a brief video. It's about six minutes in length that we'd really like you to take a look at. Um, it shows his involvement with praise, and we are looking. We had a board meeting yesterday with praise, and we'd very much like to model this uh, around the world as far as our distributions, transparency, and accountability. Uh, this young man has just done a fantastic job, and we're just very proud of uh, his ministry and his work with Praise in West Africa. So you know the ministry there is in good hands. So I would invite you to just take a look at this uh, video, and again, we want to thank you very much for the time this morning. Dear brethren, thank you very much for the great support that you have been sending to pastors in West Africa. Praise has become a real platform of fellowship for pastors to pray for each other's families, churches, and for the unity of the body of Christ. To well organized praise, we have a local committee. We also have a devotional time. 
You and I have the same goal, that is to see life saved, hand into hand, we must succeed. We are very pleased to welcome five new pastors today. Behind is Pastor Lazar, Pastor Asemian Aimé, Pastor Marc Goy Gay. Okay. Pastor Ake Jean-Jacques uh, uh, also been added Paul Chile. and we have Paul Chile is working in the interior. Let's pray that every three months some new pastor may be added. Brenda is the treasury and the secretary of praise. Anytime she sends this file, you can see the number of the pastor and the sponsor of the pastor. And uh, during the distribution, you will see this form. Dear sponsors, you can never imagine how much your support is very vital, important, and bring relief to many families here in West Africa. 80% of pastors are living in difficult situations. It is even difficult for some to receive 12 dollars per month while they have families and children. We lack word to thank you. Only our Lord can reward you and tell you one day, Come, you who are blessed by my Father, take your inheritance. The kingdom prepared for you since the creation of the world. For I was hungry and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty and you gave me something to drink. I was in need of clothes and you clothed me. I was sick and you looked after me. I tell you the truth. Whatever you did, for one of the least of these brothers of mine, you did for me. Water the pastor with your finance, they will water you with the spiritual blessing. This pastor has already lost two children. He couldn't have money to send them to the hospital on time. Like him, many pastors are going through hardship in the ministry because the church is not rich enough to take care of them. Look at this church. Le chrétien doit connaître sa position réelle. Le chrétien doit connaître vraiment son identité devant Dieu. Si je savais, il n'a pas de sens. My name is Pastor David Abougan. I started this church in 2007 with difficulties, but I stand fast in the Lord until today. In this church, two pastors of praise are united to pray together. Most of the time, their face rain during Sunday service because the church is not covered. My name is Kudu Lazar. My prayer is to have financial support to build a church that belongs to us. No matter the situation and hard condition of the work, the great mission is being done, souls are being saved, and the kingdom of God is spreading. At the same time, the need of the pastors and the one of the church are increasing. Need of training, rest, library for pastors, music instruments, transport means, and scholarship for their children. We need your prayer and we need your help. Together we can do better.